Tonight, we remember the reason for this long holiday stretch, the Americans and their loved ones who paid the ultimate price. Thousands of military boots chillingly dotting Roger Williams Park this weekend. They represent 16 years of loss. Men and women who died defending the home front, including those from Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin had a chance to tour the site, and she joins us tonight. Caroline. This backdrop has an incredible backstory. It starts with Warwick native David Rothermill. When he graduated from high school, he enlisted in the Marines. He was deployed three times, twice to Iraq, once to Afghanistan. But now he's back here at home, making sure the friends he lost overseas aren't forgotten here in the States. David Rothermel walks the grounds of Roger Williams Park, squatting down to read the names and remember the faces. So we'll start with him. We'll start with good old Nick. Marine Corporal Nicholas Saros. I met Nick while we were in Ramadi, and he was with 1-9. The two deployed, but their time together was cut short in July of 2009. He died by an IED uh, in Afghanistan. Zaros is one of 6,857 men and women remembered at this site. It's a tribute to the soldiers killed post 9-11 and the ones like Rothermel, who now live with that loss. It was for him and everyone like him. Dita Quattro was Rothermel's fiance. All of this was her idea. When we went to the grave, I saw like the actual impact of being at the grave and what that meant for him. And I was thinking, I want him to be able to visit all his friends. He lost 28. So De Quattro got to work. I was like, let's get 6,000 boots. She got donations. She even paid out of pocket, telling us this entire project cost about $10,000. But it's for him. I knew I wanted to, always. Rothermel is a proud veteran. He hopes this display can make these fallen soldiers proud too. To actually be able to go out there, read off their name, read their story, and not have them lost in the history books is one of the most important things of this project to me. And Dee and David tell us that they hope to one day take this display on the road, but you can bet that every Memorial Day weekend, they'll be back here in Providence at Roger Williams Park to show this off to the community. Reporting in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.